The number one mistake people make in the stock market is they treat it like a casino. People all the time are buying into this new penny stock because they heard something on social media or they're selling these big strong companies like Facebook because a new data breach came out or there's some bad news on it. People need to realize buying and selling a stock is not like playing a hand of blackjack or playing a hand of poker or going to the slots in a casino. They're making bets with nothing to back it up. After this video, I want you to become a better trader by stop making dumb bets and start making smart investments. All right, before we get started, you already know I'm gonna ask, hit that like button, it takes one second. In fact, you could've already done it me while I was talking. Okay, good, you've done it, let's resume. All right, so let's paint a picture. Let's pretend one of your friends has a business, all right? And they come to you asking to become a partner. They want you to buy into their business. Now that may be a huge undertaking and before you take your hard earned money and put it into that business and become a partner, you may have a couple of questions for him or her. So some of these questions may include, is the business profitable? Will the business continue to grow? And what do the financials, the marketing, and the operations of the business look like? The last thing you'd wanna do is put all of your hard earned money into a business that is failing. A business that isn't making money, a business that has no future, that's being wiped out by its competition. Uh, it, that's just a bad investment overall, right? You would never do that. So when you sit down with your friend and if you see their business, you learn everything about it, and you think there's no way I'm gonna make money, you wouldn't put a dollar into it. You tell your friend, sorry, try someone else. However, if you had a friend that had a very profitable business, making great money, you could see the potential for growth, then that's something that you want to consider and maybe you'd want to visit their place of work, visit the business, learn more about it before you make that big investment into the business. So you need to treat the stock market the same way. When you were buying into a stock, you were buying into a company. It's not like you're buying chips that are worth different values and you're betting, oh, you know, let, let me bet on black or let me bet on red or let me bet on this hand. It's not a casino. You are actually buying into a business. So now you're asking Keith, if the stock market isn't this big professional casino to feed into my gambling addiction, how do I pick good companies from bad companies? It takes a little research, right? I've already explained in a couple of other my videos you need to know what the company is. You need to make sure the company is making money. You just got to do some research. Any publicly traded company needs to have all of its information online, especially if it's with the NASDAQ or the New York Stock Exchange. They all have rules and regulations they need to follow. They need to have their balance sheets, their income statements, their financials, all available to the public. And it's an easy, internet search. You could jump over to whatever site you want to use, whether that be Yahoo Finance, Seeking Alpha, and you could look through their financials. So do a little bit of digging and look at the company's health. See if they're profitable. See if they're projected to grow over the next one year, five years, 10 years. See how they did in the past. Were they making money? Were they losing money? How does their debt situation look like? Are they over leveraged with debt? That could be a problem if we run into another financial crisis. Who's gonna bail them out? Who's gonna save them? Is there maybe a better company to look at? And of course, the last thing you need to look at is the price of the company, right? There could be a company that is very strong, very profitable, and will continue to make a lot of money but if it's overpriced, if the market is overpriced, may not be the best time to invest in it. Maybe you'll wait until the price comes down and it'll be an even better investment. But both go hand in hand. You need to find a stock that is at a good price and you need to find a stock that is a good company. A company that maybe you know or you've done your research on. No more just blindly picking the top stock on Robinhood or 
the stock guru that you're following on Twitter that's saying, hey, buy into this stock. Because at the end of the day, you don't know what their plan is. Maybe they only want to hold on to it for a week, a month, a couple of months, a year, a lifetime, and it may not line up with what you're looking to do. So stop treating the stock market like a casino, cause it's not. And do yourself a favor and just do a little bit of research. Wanted to keep this video short and simple. Um, it's just a big thing that I see with a lot of my friends. They like to treat it like a professional casino when it's not. I know what you may be thinking. This video isn't flashy. It's not giving you some new hot tip. And it sounds a little cliche. Because you're probably thinking in the back of the head, yeah, 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 I know, I know. But hey, take it from me. I've made this mistake in the past. I recently made that mistake. I bought a stock because of no other reason than I thought, oh, this is a good company to buy. So I bought it from Impulse. I looked through its financials and I realized, wow, this really isn't the best investment to make. You should probably sell this stock and buy a company that is actually performing better and will perform better for the next decade. If you wanna learn more about the stock market, you can look at some of my other videos where I go into exactly how to analyze a stock, how to pick a, a good stock from a bad stock, uh, what ETFs are, all of that good stuff. And if you have any, uh, any questions, if you wanna see any future videos, you can let me know. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. Give me that thumbs up. See you in the next one.